Learn to drive your fucking Fiat Punto. Alrighty everybody, it's Virtual Driver Daily, time clap clap, clap clap, how are we all doing today guys, welcome back to another episode, we are proudly supported and sponsored by ProMods, do you want an enhanced experience on ETS2, then ProMods is the map mod for you, I use it as well by the way, just getting that point out there, as well as British College packs for ETS2, all of the trucks you will see me drive in a virtual truck driver diaries are available at the British College Packs for ETS2 Facebook page. And just ask for James's and then which truck you want. I have three. I have four actually. I forgot about the Volvo Tipper. I have three Ronnie Custer Scanians, Scanias as well. So if you want them, go and message them. I want to give a big shout out to our subcontracting VTCs. Matthew Stones International Contracting, Dominic Pearson International, Miller Transport, DDS Haulage and ANA Transport in London. Thank you to everybody for the love and the support. Hope you're all doing well. So like James, what are you doing? Right, I am in Zadar. I've just turned the head tracking on, so yeah, that's all working. Uh, I'm in Zadar. Uh, at, the, at the airport, I am waiting for a load for DDS uh, to then take, I think it's a ton of cut flowers they said, up the road 200 k's to, uh, is it Riga? I think it's Riga. And then we'll be getting another job from there. But the thing is, I recorded this segment yesterday. I watched it back and realised I had a massive echo and I had to start again today. So this is the second time I filmed this. So we're just waiting for our plane to arrive. That possibly could be it right in front of us now, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it. I know it's a little plane in it, but uh, yeah, so it's going to go over there that way a little bit and then we'll be able to go and get the load. So I am going to jump off now because obviously we've got to wait, got checks and everything to make sure I'm not a terrorist or a bomber and everything. So. I'm going to go get the checks now, they're going to search my trailer, they're going to search my cabin obviously to make sure I haven't got anything naughty on me and then we'll be loaded up and out of it quick. So I'll see you on the road guys. Alright guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well. We've just left the airport, we are loaded and we are heading, and I can tell you exactly where we're going now. Rick, uh, Ranger, is that how you pronounce it? I don't want to pronounce it wrong, I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, so heading to Warbners, uh, these guys don't want filming, so yeah, it's going to be cameraed off as I get into Rio. Uh, so I just don't want anything to go wrong, it's, it's 288 kilometers from here, so it's 290 k dead. My watch is just full enough, it's brilliant. Isn't it? Uh, this truck does need to go to service by the way, so as soon as we get back, anyone in Germany, I will be driving back to Dortmund, but this truck in for service is nearly, by the time we get back there probably be a 10k service anyway, over at 6.7k now, on the clock, I'm in Croatia, so I've got to be eight. So yeah guys, let's talk about last week's uh, movie, 
I didn't mean for it to be that long, nearly two hours, I really wasn't meaning for it to be that long. That's sort of the, it's, how can I say it, it's, it's sort of the concept I was playing with in my head when I said I'm going back to doing weeklies and, you know, I didn't expect it to be that long. I know most of the dailies reach about an hour, or take. But I didn't mean it for it to be two hours. But all the recordings were just brilliant, so I, I had to leave them in. I just couldn't dump any. Which sucks. But, but yeah. <laughs> so, I'll be trying to keep them as far up as I can. To give you the best quality, but I won't. I won't sacrifice quality for quantity. So some days a 20 minute video, other days it could be two, three hour video. You know what I mean? It's you know I'm not sacrificing the quality for the, for the quantity, which sucks. But yeah, so we need to have a talk. We need to have an important talk. So most of you don't know, I've got the metal plate and pins in my right wrist and I have a plate in my back and obviously due to the losing of weight I've totally forgot to keep an eye out on my plates and my back one is slightly loose so at some point in summer I'm gonna go it's not it's nothing too bad too too dramatic um, but it's you know it is there, I feel it. Uh, so the one on my back is a bit loose. In the summer I'm going to go and have it tightened up. Obviously playing my left wrist, I'll always doing my left wrist because I've smashed that beyond all the you know, when I was little. But I had it smashed beyond all the uh, Yeah, um, there, there was an incident at some school that I was accused of something quite serious um, and the police got involved and the female said brother decided to smash my head in. Even though I didn't do anything. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I was going to live the path, unfortunately. Uh, you know. It's a shame um, because uh, it's just a shame that he did. See why I took the word of a sister for at the same time. You know, I had the fact I had the CCTV proof to say it wasn't where I was when when she said I was and that I was actually four miles away in an after school detention. Um, but it took years for my school to hand the police a CCTV tape. So. It must be it. It's 40, isn't it? It's 80. Um, and unfortunately during that three years a lot of things happened to me a lot and unfortunately that's the way it goes um, like I said I can't blame them for listening to your sister but you know when I, when I had the proof I didn't do it um, if, you, if you, you could probably work out what I've been accused of but um, I'm not saying it's not that I'm ashamed of it, it's just YouTube will flag the video if I say the word. So I'm not gonna get my video flagged, am I? So you can you can all probably work it out. Whoa, alright Lewis, I'm not inches out. But um Yeah. So obviously all side effects of that I've got a heavily swollen and bruised liver, I've got four cracked ribs that are permanently stay cracked up and told. You know, I've got like half of, half of my left lung is working properly. Um, I've been no broken I believe so many times, you know. Well I went bowling with the family the other day and I managed to just two of my fingers to the severity of some of the injuries are sustained. But, so yeah, there will be a big break in the summer, okay? But 
this leads me on to what I wanted to talk about. Yes, that is an amazing view I seen it yesterday. But what I wanted to talk about, importantly, is I'm going to start phasing out ETS2 on the channel. Um, honestly, uh, I shouldn't have come back to VTDD to ETS2 after I had my long break in the middle of last year. I shouldn't have come back. You know, and against my my gut, I came back. Uh, and to be truthful, I'm swapping out all of my kit probably for a racing kit. Uh, so I'm getting a proper racing wheel, racing rim, the, the full works from Fanatec. I'm not getting one I'm getting, I'm in purchasing, not actually getting for free, by the way, just before we avoid that question again. So, I'm going to be getting the Fanatec Club, the CSO, which stands for Club Sport Light Elite Wheelbase, and I'm getting the McLaren MP4 12C GT3 Rin. And you're wondering, but you, you still have a wheel rim and you can still play ETS2. I do. I, I will have a wheel, but it's not. It's not settled for ETS2. It's more racing. Um. So I'm hoping that this is just me reacting to the fact that the spark has died. But I fear it's not. I do, I do fear my time is up in the community. I'm not gonna like it. So. You know, it, it, it sucks, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a mixture of things, guys, like a lot of things. And, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say why. People who know me know why. Um, they wanna share it with everybody, then they can. But yeah, so that's where my head is at because tomorrow, if you're watching today, release tomorrow, which is should be Saturday the eighth. February 2018, I will, uh, 2019, sorry, I will be taking part in the Bathurst 12 hours from the HCR uh, car racing team that I did Daytona with. And the thing is, I don't want to start making new test videos, that's the problem. I just think Spark's gone because it hasn't been a new pro much for a while. And it is horrible running on the road. And I've had a lot of people ask me for that. You know, I don't want... I don't want to go back to VTC driving, but I need to because... I should be having people to talk to about it. That's, that's weird. But, all in all, I probably won't go back to VTC driving. Because I like the freedom to do what I want, because I've got... An amazing deal with BHP Pro Mods. So this is why I'm just taking it. This is the, the spark, you know, dampening down so it hasn't been anything new for a while. But I think when the Baltic DLC is compatible with Pro Mods, I think we should be alright. Well, I should be anyway. So, yeah, I needed to tell you all because I need you all to know where my head's at. It's not fair and keep it secrets from you guys. That's one thing I never said I'd do. Um, but it's it is what it is, isn't it? Into, into, unfortunately. That's why I am hoping new Pro Mods is right around the corner. I have a rough date on my names, but I'm not going to tell you. Um, hopefully it does come out that date, because then I'll be able to change my mind before making any hardcore plans. But 
but hopefully, you know, I can stay on. I need to go there. Uh, I need to go right a minute. I'm gonna go pull around his company. Yeah, and I'm gonna put a park on the road because I need to fill my drink or I need to go to the toilet. So, I'm just going to park outside of the company. So, I'm going to go to the toilet right now. And I will see you in a little bit for a chilli section. So, see you in a minute guys. Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do a chilli section now so you can enjoy this little drive up to the radio. So, enjoy the album, we get one song for it, and then turn it off, leave a mic on to show you really if I need to say anything. So, see you.
guys, we're reaching the limit to where I can record now. So, I will see you all in a little minute. Uh, I'm going to drop this off up here. See a man about a garage for expanding my operations down in the Ratio. And then I will be back with another load. So, I'll see you in a minute. Hello everybody, welcome back. How are you doing today boys? I hope you're doing well. So how are we? We've just left um, Walkney as it turns out my backload was also there as well. So we are heading on a little trip to Della Italia or Bella Italia. We're off to Turin I think it said. Let's just get the uh, good old mappy map 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 up. So we're taking 14 tons of grapes to Milan to TE Logistica. And uh, it's like 600 and something cages, I think it is. Yeah, 610 cages, call it. Woo! That was close. That was close. Woo! That was close. So, yeah, guys, this is actually, believe it or not, the second time I've recorded this. I recorded it the first time and the police and air ambulance helicopters decided to uh, do a little bit of a fly around my local area and at one point they were trying to build my house. Now I do need to thank both of them for the vibrations because obviously the helicopter gives off a lot of vibrations when it's in hover mode and for me vibrations on my chest loosen up um, some gunk I've got in my lungs that I've had. Um, I was forced to ingest some things that are harmful for lungs. Again, going back to what we've talked about just now. So, yeah, I have issues with um, mucus and crap and gunk building up in my lungs to eventually the point where I physically have to cough it up. So normally, after I have a drink or something, you'll probably hear me say, "I'll oh, turn the mic off back in a minute." That's because I'm forcing the stuff that's stuck my throat up and it's just not a very nice sound and I don't my family don't like it, I personally don't like it. But in return it has given me quite a strong chest so yeah. So obviously I forced that up because it gets to the point where I can't breathe. Especially with orange juice and um, fizzy pop as well. If I drink that I have to do that. So I have to force it up. I don't really want to do that, it really hurts, but it's going to be dull. So, I need to thank them for listening, I've got quite a lot of it, quite a lot coming out. Hence why I've had, I'd, I'd kept the recording because it was fine, you could obviously hear the helicopters, and you could obviously hear the police shouting and um, obviously shooting them. But uh, yeah, the Armour Squad's team were here as well, um, obviously they weren't here for me, obviously. Um, but something had happened that required a firearms response then the police helicopter and then the air ambulances the two we've got in our area were here I didn't really want to know what's going on I didn't personally I won't lie I didn't hear any sh I hit any shots fired um, I could be wrong they could be using suppressors I, I don't know but to the best of my knowledge there wasn't ammunition deployed should we say so, like I said, I could be wrong, but personally I didn't hear anything. Um, but the vibrations were fine, the shouting was fine, because my um, yeah, your microphone's on a shock absorber arm as well. It's got like a shock resistant holder, and it's got a gyro on it as well. It's also, button, it's also on a boom, so it was fine, it was protected, and the vibrations weren't that bad. So yeah, the, the footage would have been alright because it was actually a chilly section that I did, but unfortunately obviously I couldn't use the footage. Um, there's still one air ambulance left to take off, but I don't know how long that's been down, I don't think it'll be taking off, we're not worrying. Uh, the first air ambulance was down for about 35 minutes, but now an hour and five past the event, oh sorry, an hour and eight past the event. Yeah, it was um, 9.40 this morning. My dad had just left for work as well, so... Um, 
Yeah, it's now 10.48 on Friday the 1st of February, which means last week's episode is T minus 8 hours. Okay. So yeah, it's, yeah it's, I don't think it'll be going anywhere soon. Can you let me know the sound? Thank you. That car just pulled into my lane. I'll say thank you. I always say thank you to people. But uh, yeah, so that, that, that's what's cracking off at the minute. I'm also trying to look for my hot pools. Because we're coming up to... We're coming up to a tall booth as well, which helps. I need to film a part of now. I'm nearly running short on our aces, boys. Let's put a Tesco order in order into tonight. Oasis is one of the drinks I'm actually okay with and it gives me a lot of nutrients because I've cut um, how to process this subject nicely um, right we all know I've, I've been public about my weight and my weight loss program and my health and my medical as well so hands down we all know I was a fat pig back in 2015 when I first started doing VTDD on the channel, so we're talking about the 28th of October 2015. At that time I weighed, it was 178.7 kilos and I got my medical records out to dig that through that the other day. I'm going to need the letter for when I go to obstetricians or medication and things on it so I can have a different obstetricians test, which is in a couple of hours. Hence why I'm recording this and not testing for my first time. So, I was 178.7 kilos. Uh, ever since then, ever since then, I have been on a personal weight loss, you know, goal, challenge, achievement, whatever you want to call it. I didn't necessarily go on to a diet. So when I talk to the liver bloke, because this is, like, I'm trying to make my liver last longer. Because if it doesn't, um, fuck, it's frankly, so I won't be able to get a transplant with my blood, my bad blood. So I need to actually look after this one I've got now and stop abusing it. Um, for anybody else, no, I'm not an alcoholic. The next thing I will say will make me sound like an alcoholic. I am not, and I only drink at Christmas on my birthdays. Or when I'm on holiday, and I've been on my holiday for two years. Boom. I have the liver of a 87 year old alcoholic who has been drinking since I was fifth, heavily addicted to drinking since they was uh, 15 and that's no word of a lie that is true uh, I've got what's called non-alcoholic steohepatitis also known as hep P so it's not the transmitted STIs let's just get this out you know it's hep -E. So yeah, it sucks. He didn't stop someone to stop me though. So I don't have to do that thing I just said about. To my to do the thing I was talking about just now. Um, go back to that, yeah. I've not necessarily been on a diet. I've cut down my food now, I'm watching my food, but um, sort of over the last 10 years, I've been cutting down on my food sciences to literally pretty much a meal deal from Sainsbury's equipment. You know, that's that's where I'm going to go with it. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing all the things like I've got my paper around as well, I do that. Uh, every morning, apart from Sundays, I have Sundays off because I need to rest, obviously. It's my chronic fatigue and my complex pain syndromes and all that. Don't think I was going to stop it. So, 
So, where were we? So yeah, I've been cutting down on my food, I've been watching my food, I'm not necessarily on a diet, so to speak. So obviously been cutting it down, paper route, walking that every day. Um, being more active anyway, like walking down the shop instead of getting like saying to my dad we go down the shop with my sisters and stuff. And my dad's like, oh we need milk. I was like buzzing, I walk down to the shop then. Yeah, the shop's half a mile away. So I walk a mile there and I'm like, uh, half a mile there and half a mile back, which is a mile. Um, obviously when I used to go to football, I bought 10 miles on that Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, whatever it is. But I'd walk, but that 10 miles is um, like through my local town centre to get to the bus and then from Derby Town Centre up to the stadium along the river which I think is 3.7 but it takes me a while to do that, let's, let's just go there but it does take me a while to do that um, normally I set off about 40 minutes in front of my friends all the guys I used to go with and they would have gone down the wrong way so Scusi me, or Sorio. Um, Sorio, yeah, we'll go with Sorio. Um, so, obviously, I'd leave, they, I'd leave about 40 minutes before them. Then, by the time that they've done the 40 minutes and they've done the walk, they normally catch me up with about half a mile to go, and we normally just cruise into the stadium then. But, you know, it's just things like that. It's because they wanted to put that um, gastric band on me, the fat band, I called it. And it's like, no, I'm happy with surgeons and all that taking things out of my body, but putting it in, it just doesn't sit right with me. It's just, I can't, you know, it's, it just doesn't sit. I'm going to take a swig of drink. So, watching what I do they did recommend this 5-2 diet well the 5-2 diet is you eat 800 calories on Monday Monday through uh, Friday and then on the weekend you only have 200 calories a day I did that and then I about third weekend I started to collapse I totally missed the break sorry man I totally missed the break too um, and then last three weeks in I started to feel really bad and on the fifth week I had to stop because I just physically wasn't getting enough fuel. You know, if I didn't put fuel in this truck it's not going to go very far is it? And if I put little bits in it's not going to go very much farther. Or further, farther, further, further. So, you know, I have to be careful because obviously still being a bigger person I now weigh 119.7, no not 7. 119.4 Why I said 7 I have absolutely no idea and that's totally wrong I apologise but you know it is a challenge people just look at me and go are oh, you fat get off your ass but it's not that most of my fat is water retention is what people don't understand the water retention is from my tablet so it doesn't, it means my body retains water and it doesn't produce, it, you know, for the amount I drink it doesn't weigh out that same amount. Obviously it won't fit the body needs it to have a drink and keep topped up, but I also then store some more on top of that, which is why if I rub my belly, like, really fast, you can hear it slosh. So, in the wrong way. So, you know, it, it's all about balances. And you've got you've got to be sensible as well. So but yeah. So the weight the weight is going right. I don't even know why I started talking about this. It's probably had something to do with what I was talking about earlier or something. So yeah. What are 
about? What are we gonna talk about? So I don't know what I got it up. So yeah. I don't know what I was talking about. Ah, I can't remember. Sorry. So yeah guys, we are now in Italy, we're heading for Venice. I am gonna jump off for now, I'll come back a little bit later and film a little bit more of this trip. But I do plan on getting another load in in this episode. Oh! Whoa! Why have I, why is my engine turned off? Why is my engine turned off? What's a place to break down? Can't, I don't do heights, let's get off this bridge. I don't know if you my last time to go easy. But I'm not racing today. I'm going to try and get it in the odd shoulder. Services up here, can I try and get over there? No, I feel it, man. No. Steering is quite heavy actually. Alright, what's up with this thing? Though? I don't see no damage. I'm trying to work out why this is stuck. Hmm. I'm in Italy, so could they take it back to Frankfurt? If I can get this truck broke, obviously. Let's go for a refire. Any fuel? How is it? Because I've got damage. Oops. Just trying to work out is it because I've got damage? How long have I got left? Sorry, guys. 400k. I'm going to try and miss the Milan. That's what I'm going to do. Alright guys, so I'm going to jump off now, if it breaks again I'll uh, be back and I'll probably get this towed back to Frankfurt. So, see you, wherever, it's going to be a surprise now isn't it? I don't even know where we're going to be. Alright uh, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. 
It's the same old story again. We've just come past L Lurampen Airport in Badrao Mario. I'll hazard a guess that that's a prison. And it's the same old story again. It's 3.16 in the morning and I'm stuck on the A4 now. Absolutely ridiculous. The steering's gone as well. No, oh, there's another incident up here as well. Of course there is. Fuck's sake. Sorry kids for using that language. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this triangle because it's actually worked out properly. Hi, yeah, I'm, I'd like to join you please, you know. Like you, I'm just gonna wait here to get recovered. <sighs> what can you do? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I repaired it. Yeah, granted, I gave it a big knock last week. I fixed that. All £12,000 worth of damage. And I'm now on the A4. Behind a broken bus. And it looks like something going on up there because all the traffic's gone mad. So look. I'm actually sat in my seat trying to peer around as if it would do in real life. If you look at all that traffic up there, I'm glad actually we didn't go up there. I don't think we made a deal. Uh, so, I phoned recovery before I got on recording with you guys. and I'm just waiting now. It looks like I have a friend, so... Go meet some nice Italians. Hopefully nice. Might not be Italians. Of course, I'm making the assumption because I am in Italy. I'm at the northern part as well with Switzerland and Austria and all that, so it might not. And Italy, uh, Germany, and it might actually not be Italians, but we'll just go with the presumption that the people in front are Italian. And this traffic is going mad. Sorry, boys, not my fault. <laughs> Stupid thing, and I've got a cold again, and I've got a cold again. I've had enough. Absolutely had enough, guys. I've seriously considered jacketing it. I really am. It's unreal. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't really, really know what to do. Seriously, don't know what to do. Oh. Might just get him to patch me up so I can go and deliver to deliver to the company. So there's a new customer for DDS, so that's not fair on them that I can't stick it on my end, and I might get the thing, and I might just go to Milan and get the thing shipped back to uh, Frankfurt. And then I can go and start on moving some of the operations down into Croatia and Serbia. Obviously, we've got the um, driver push office set up. We're just waiting for Promos to be friendly with uh, the Baltic DLC. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm knackered. It's like 4 22 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, we've got the driver, driver push office that's up and running when ProMods and the Baltic DLC can work together. So that office will be coming into more of a forefront for my Baltic adventures up through Finland and Sweden and all that. Excuse me. Then I've got I've got the dormant office, which is the main. That's the HQ. Main German hub is Frankfurt. Um, my actual HQ and main yard, which is mainly storage yard, just spare trailers at the minute, is Dortmund. Uh, my German office is Frankfurt. I've obviously got traffic approved to the bold ticks. I'm going to have. Uh... Oh god, I can't remember which one I was going to set up. <laughs> I can't remember which city in Croatia I was going to set up in, or Serbia. I might go to Nice. I might set one up there. Because that was nice when we came through a couple of weeks ago. So yeah. I 
we'll start the engine, but I don't want it to clunk again. How far away are we? Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, that was that close. Right, let's go for it. Right. So, engine, you've had two hours now. Ready? You gonna turn on? Back up on a highway and hope that uh, blitz aren't coming. Thank you. All right, Coachy. Nice meeting you all. to drive your fucking Fiat Punto. French downs are very fast than the Yep, I've got a very poorly truck, so let's use the downhill to actually restrict the speed that James needs to do. Because James got a poorly truck, but trucks like momentum. Momentum equals more speed going down hills. So really you do be going down the hills flat out.
for this. Hey, follow the red all the way around. Watch your stick car. Not like that, it's getting shit done. That's far on the other trucks to use. Alright, guys, so we won't be in Milan when you come back next week. We'll be in Frankfurt or Dortmund. Whichever one I can be bothered to go to. Shame because I didn't want this to be the last segment of this video because I wanted to a bit of an Italian trip. Made it all come back. Uh, not until it weeks. Are you fucking kidding me? I ain't not lost a bit. This is so embarrassing. Oh yeah, now I need to stop the engine, you know. Alright guys, thank you for watching this week's episode. I know I've been very good, but uh, yeah. So, I am going to get this ship to either to Dortmund or Frankfurt. I haven't even decided yet. Um, but all I know is that this truck's going home, and so am I. Recchietta. No. Uh, six oh two. And the most nine kilometers in my life. Fifteen hours and forty seven minutes. And it was great. For eighteen tons. D D S. Alright guys, thank you for watching uh, this week's episode, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next week, hopefully, if I haven't jacked it all in. Take care.